Hi guys, Karen here with another video. Welcome back to our channel and thank you so much for watching. And I know like you're surprised. I'm right here in front of the camera. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> anyway, I decided um, on Tuesdays, I'm going to try out a little something a little different. Sorry, it's early. So as you can tell by the title of the video, I'm going to try out um, sharing what I cook in a day maybe two days over a two day period but we're going to start with one day first um and how i uh use this is so i can show you guys those who are interested how i incorporate all of those Le, Cru Le Creuset and my cast iron every day um and this is so like you know, people be more inclined to use their items, have fun cooking in the kitchen. Um, so what I'm going to do is just, like I said, show you uh, what I cook every day. Um, we cook a lot around here or, you know, and um, I don't just, I, I, I know the funny thing is like, you know, my family does enjoy the food, but I just really like cooking. <laughs> So they get to enjoy the food because I like cooking. I don't, I don't really, yeah, I, I really just enjoy cooking. So without further ado, I'm not going to really, I mean, if you guys are interested in the recipes, let me know and I'll leave them in the comments below. I mean, I'll leave them in the description. Um, but this is just so you can see what I cook you know, on the average day. So, and honestly, like I said in some of my other videos, what you see, I really do. This is not a, um, if the camera wasn't on, I'd be cooking. So, you know, and if the camera wasn't on, three, I would be cooking uh, the meals. And um, because, not because I have to, but because I really do enjoy it. And uh, I think, I, I think like Maya says, we like the science side of it. Um, and just, you know, uh, the taste and everything just, yeah, it's like a real science sort of thing. But without further ado, we're going to get into it. It's early in the morning. People are still sleeping around here and, um, yeah. So first things up, we have to get tea. We have to have tea. So this morning I'm starting off with, so I'll show you that. So this morning, to help me get started, I am starting the day off with a Darjeeling tea. And um, so it's just the Darjeeling tea bag with, um, I put a little bit of brown sugar. Um, as you can see, I have cardamom on top. That's a little um, tip that I got from, uh, in, in Durham, North Carolina, there's a store called the Spice Bazaar. If you're, ever in, if you're ever in the neighborhood, stop by. Um, and uh, he gave us a little tip about cardamom. Just drop it in your tea, adds so much flavor. And uh, half and half. So I'm gonna get started. I'm making breakfast this morning for everybody. So I just get started by chopping the potato, as you can see. Um, I already have my oven getting ready to heat up because um, for this I'm just going to use an uh, 11 inch cast iron skillet. So here they are. I'm going to add a little bit of canola oil to them. Just probably a tablespoon. And then I have my all purpose seasoning here. It's just a mixture of paprika, smoked paprika, cumin turmeric, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's mix it all here. Okay guys, so if you know anything about cast iron skillets, they like to be hot. Um, they cook better when they're warm or heated up. So while I was chopping up those potatoes, I had my cast iron skillet waiting patiently in the oven at 400 degrees. So I'm just gonna add my potatoes to that. 
It's going to be hot. And this is the Lodge cast iron skillet. Um, and I have it sitting on a trivet. So now I'm going to put this back in the oven for about 25 minutes so I can cook. So next up for breakfast, I'm going to use this tofu. It's extra firm. And um, yeah, everybody's having tofu this morning. I have, you can use eggs if you like. I'm just going to use tofu right now today. So I, um, I'm going to add my tofu to the bowl. I've already drained it, as you can see. I'm going to add my tofu to the bowl. I like mixing... Uh, breaking down my tofu in the bowl first that way it's not flying all over the skillet and I'll be using my Le Creuset brazier the three and a half quart I'll show you guys that in a second so this is the color cool mint for anybody who's interested and I'm just going to add my oil to the skillet or well, to the brazier excuse me that's killer on the brain. And I'm going to set this on the stove so this can get nice and heated up. So I have my veggies here. Um, this is the kale, peppers, tomato, onion, and shallot. And I added my garlic to the tofu bowl. And I have some mushrooms on hand, but these are gonna be cooked separately. But for this bowl, I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. just to soften up the kale a little bit and it makes it, it helps it cook, helps the veggies cook faster. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. I'm just gonna mix that in. Now I'm just gonna cook this down and we'll have breakfast. So this is breakfast this morning and uh, it smells delicious. I'm going to have, so you don't just take my word for it, I'm going to have um, two test tasters that shall remain nameless. Okay, so you don't take my word for it. Here are the taste testers, you, you'll just hear them. Here is chewing. <laughs> okay, Hubster, what's it taste like? It's good. <laughs> Maya? They're really soft. Okay. You and they're really well seasoned. What about the scramble? I'm just chewing. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys again at lunch. So, in preparation for lunchtime, I am making some flatbread. So, here we have sugar, warm water, and two and a half teaspoons of yeast. So, I'm just letting this proof letting the yeast, the yeast proof and then I will get started with my dough. So this is our dough all ready to go. Um, all nice and kneaded. I'm going to let it sit and rise on our stove top um, for about 45 minutes to an hour. Put a little towel over the top and we'll see this in an hour. And we're back, and it's lunchtime. So what I'm doing with uh, what I'm going to serve with the flatbread is hummus. So I'm just going to make a really quick hummus. Um, I have my tahini here, garlic, salt, olive oil. Uh, I'm going to roast a few um, of the uh, chickpeas with a little bit of um, uh, shallots. And uh, I'll show you guys what that looks like. So, so far, this is our hummus. I haven't done the top. Um, I have some things to go on top, but I'll show you guys what that looks like later. The excess hummus um, is in the Wex jar. These jars come in handy, guys. This is the little tulip one. Um, yeah. So, and don't sleep on these um, on the free gift from Le Crusade. 
that's what these are no we're not in the season yet it's not spring yet but these come in handy anyway I'll show you guys what it looks like when lunch is ready so when I get ready to serve the uh, flatbread I'm going to make a garlic um, uh, parsley kind of mixture and uh, or cilantro if I it depends on which one I have and um, I'm gonna roast this garlic in the oven for at 400 degrees for probably about five minutes or at least until it's nice and soft you just add a little olive oil and some salt and that's it okay so now I'm going to chop up some of the cilantro because that's what I have on hand and this garlic that's come out of the oven into a little kind of paste to put on our flatbread now I'm gonna go ahead and make this flatbread okay so this is lunch um, this is for the hubster and myself Maya will get hummus with the um, flatbread because she can't eat raw vegetables like this but um, and as you can see those are the chickpeas that I roasted in the oven and yeah it's gonna go down <laughs> but this is lunch it doesn't take that long I think the longest thing out of all of this was the flatbread but other than that everything else was pretty easy um, and I will see you guys at dinner okay so it's now dinner time and we're gonna take it easy and have a very simple meal so I'm just gonna make a really quick stir fry I'm gonna use the balti dish here um, and we're just gonna make a stir fry some rice and call it an evening I am using soy sauce hoisin sauce and uh, chili paste garlic chili paste and some brown sugar and mixing that together and that's our sauce and yeah and and you can use whatever vegetables you like you can use whatever protein you like I'm just using tofu today it looks kind of clumpy don't worry about that it was frozen and some garlic and onions and yeah so we're just gonna do this really quick and yeah that's the end of the day but I'll show you what it looks like when we're all done because this is gonna go really fast this is one of my favorite pans to kick cook with the balti dish it's so easy it has that well in the bottom so it makes it so easy to cook and um, just gonna add the tofu in there this is really simple I'm just showing this for anybody who's interested in purchasing the bulky dish um, use it all the time so this is the final product and this is our meal for the evening something simple easy quick um, that everybody can enjoy and I like to serve it with um, the seaweed packets and a little side of chili paste for a little heat if you don't like heat you don't have to worry about it um, but it's a really simple meal and I hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and um, I will see you guys in the next one sorry I was chewing <laughs> bye guys